You know, since now that we have uh, dual mode systems, we, we've integrated dual mode almost. We're, we're working through all our product lines and trying to get them all dual mode so we can do ANT and VLE. And from a technology standpoint, it's exciting for me because it's not only from the user standpoint that's great because now they don't have to choose. They can just buy the sensor and use whichever technology. But from an engineering and technology standpoint, it's intriguing because the weaknesses of Bluetooth that I had talked about were maybe you want to relay the information. We can choose to use ANT, and when Bluetooth is stronger, we can choose to use Bluetooth. Um, so having the dual allows me to kind of set the network up the way I want it um, and be pretty flexible. Um, as an example, the pedals um, communicate to each other via ANT. Um, and then, of course, one of the pedals is a master, which sends the information. And then if you're in the Bluetooth land, you're connecting to both pedals independently. But we still maintain the ANT connection between the pedals. We actually have some synchronous uh, data that's going on in the pedals. We want to make sure that um, we don't report a downstroke from one pedal and then a downstroke from another pedal. If they were totally running independently and not synchronous, um, you, could you could report this erroneous power of a downstroke and a downstroke. Um, so there's uh, that subtle back channel that's keeping them synchronized. Um, even if you're connected via Bluetooth, we still use that, that back channel. And that's, that's a nice feature to have. Um, and you wouldn't be able to do that, uh, w w what I just described, solely with Bluetooth. Um, so that's kind of cool that we can, we can leverage both. Um, from the user's perspective, um, you know, I think BLE, Bluetooth, which is the higher level, higher speed, uh, is definitely embedded in a lot of devices from Apple to Windows to uh, Android. So all the operating systems use Bluetooth and now they're slowly integrating Bluetooth Low Energy. Some of them are better at it than others. Apple seems to be particularly good at their BLE implementation. Windows is pretty weak right now. Um, but I think they'll all catch up and that'll really help Bluetooth Low Energy. Um, just that, that integration in the receive side. Um, but I, I feel like on the, the simplicity of Ant, and if you're going to use a little byte computer, um, it definitely uh, fits that nicely. So I think Bluetooth has some, um, uh, some way to go before it's as, as uh, elegant as Ant in the super low power category. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's uh, hey, if you thought that, uh, if you like that video, if you like that video okay. So, hey, if you like that video and want to watch more, click above.